Nearly two million visitors will come to Logan Pass during the short two to three month summer season. This shuttle stop is literally the high point of the Going to the Sun Road as well as the high point of many visits to the park. The pass sits along the Continental Divide, 6,646 feet, and treats visitors to sweeping views of mountains and subalpine meadows full of colorful wildflowers. The rangers at the Logan Pass Visitor Center can assist with answers to questions about the area and information on plants, wildlife, and hikes. A bookstore is also located in the Visitor Center. From the back of the Visitor Center, a boardwalk crossing flower-filled meadows leads to Hidden Lake Overlook. This one and a half mile walk provides visitors with dramatic views of Mount Reynolds, Clements Mountain, and sparkling Hidden Lake. Hikers can continue another mile and a half down a steep trail to the lake where Bear Hat Mountain rises above on the far side. Please remain on the boardwalk and trail. A careless human step will leave a huge impact to plants in this fragile environment. Across from the visitor center, on the other side of the Going to the Sun Road, visitors can experience one of Glacier's most popular hikes, the Highline Trail. Although there are a few precipitous spots on the trail, don't let that discourage you from enjoying some of the most spectacular views in the park. Here in Glacier National Park, we are fortunate to be surrounded by such amazing wildlife. And if you happen to have the opportunity to see wildlife, especially while hiking on a trail, make sure to give them the right of way. And also, remember never to feed wildlife in the park. We want to keep our wildlife wild. The more that animals think that we're a source of food, the more chance that we might see them acting aggressively towards us. So to keep us safe and to keep the animals safe, it's important that you remember never to feed animals when you're in the national park.